Hey friends, it's Ruben with Hi-Fi MIDI. Thanks for joining me for another video. In this video, I want to show you how to get two plugins to sound alike through the process of EQ matching. Now I have two plugins open right now. One of them is AmpleSound P-Bass, which is a Fender Precision Bass. Probably the most recorded bass in studio history. And it's characterized by a having a very round, smooth, and warm sound to it. Whereas the jazz bass has a less detailed, punchier, and more nasal sound to it. Both of these are great basses, but I know not everyone has both of these basses. Some people have just one bass plugin. Now what I'm going to do is show you how you can get the P bass to sound like the J bass. And then after that, I'm going to show you how to get the J bass to sound like the P bass. How do I do that? All right, so first I'm going to use my J bass as my reference track, meaning this is the sound that I want. And the P bass track is going to be the track that I change. So I'm going to open up FabFilter Pro Q2. Now this is the last version, or the previous version of it. I think they came out with version 3, Pro Q3. This is a great plugin for EQ matching. So I open that up on the track that I want to change. I go to the side chain button and click on J bass. Now they're connected and it's going to listen to the J bass track. Side chain basically connects two two different tracks. I'm going to mute the P bass cuz I don't need to listen to it right now. And then I'm going to go down here to the analyzer, hit the EQ match button. And under reference, I'm going to click on sidechain. Now I'm going to play the track. Pro Q2 is going to listen to the jazz bass track. And now it's created a curve representing the jazz bass and then another curve representing the P bass. Now notice that I'm playing both tracks simultaneously, so it's listening to both. And then I can click on match and it's going to apply the EQ curve of the jazz bass to the P bass. Now in this little slide bar, you have a number right here representing how many EQ nodes there are. I can drag that down and make it more simple, or I can go all the way up to 24. I'll leave it at 17. Remember, the more nodes that you use, the more processing power it requires from your computer. So I'm going to click Finish. And now, my P bass should sound like my jazz bass. So I'm going to play the jazz bass first, the original, so that way you can hear again and remember. I'll stop it right there, mute that track, and then it, this is the affected track. So the P bass should sound like the jazz bass now. Let's listen to that one more time. So here's a jazz bass. I'm going to play it manually. And now the P bass. Now I'm going to bypass 
the EQ so you can hear the P bass in its regular state, in its normal state. So you can hear the difference that the EQ made. All right, now, now let's do the same thing, but make the jazz bass sound like the P bass. Can we do that? So I'm going to open up a new Pro Q under the jazz bass, because jazz bass is going to be the one that's going to be EQ'd. I'm going to set the side chain to P bass. I'm going to go to Analyzer, EQ Match. Reference is side chain. And let's play that. Hit the match button, and it's created a curve already. Finish. Let's listen to the jazz bass now. All right, let's listen to the original P bass. Let's see how close it got. And then I'm gonna play them manually. Here's the P bass. And then here's the jab, jazz bass with the P bass setting. So I can hear some differences there in the mid range, but it definitely sounds rounded out. Now I'm going to go back to the previous EQ and see how much, how similar the P bass sounds to the J bass. Here's the J bass. Here's the P bass. So in the end, I would say that the P bass sounded more like the J bass then the J bass sounded like the P bass. So the P bass is more customizable. And I think the reason for that is because it, it's already a very detailed sounding bass. So it's easier to take off detail than to add it. But um, you can apply this to other types of basses as well. You're not gonna get an exact copy, but it's gonna be something very similar. Become a free member of Hi-Fi MIDI. The link to my website in, is in the description and you will get the download the audio file of each of these bases so that you can create your own EQ curve and match your bass with these sounds. Right now I have I am offering a 7-day free trial of Virtual Musician Academy keyboard workshop as well as the VMA forum where you can talk to like-minded people about music production and virtual instruments and have access to dozens of music production videos, how-to, reviews, comparisons, and free downloadable files. Well, thanks for watching, friends. Please subscribe if you haven't. Hit that notification bell for the latest videos. Leave a comment, like this video, and share it with the world. See you next time.